Good day and welcome back to CSGO betting review and today we're going to take a look at a CSGO betting script for CSGO Empire that is able to bet on CT, T and DICE with whatever strategy you use uh, and uh, increase on however much you want uh, whenever I lose. But before we get a look into the script I will remind you to hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell so you don't miss any new scripts and uh, reviews uh, and stuff and uh, if you're new on CSGO Empire remember to use the promo code BET101 to get a free case and a free case right here BET101 well now everything said let's go and take a look on the bot and uh, yeah that's going to be fun be right back as a starter, we are going to explain you how to run this code and where to find it. And later, we are, I'm taking your hand and walk you through the code line for line so you can check that it's all legit as always. But let's just go into it so it's not going to be a too long video. Um, to run the script, you need a Google Chrome browser. Uh, a Chrome browser, whatever you call it. Uh, so if you want my support, it's only for that browser this will work. Uh, as only for the game roulette it can play and uh, you can find it in uh, the description uh, in the google link uh, and if you click on it you will get this document opened to run that all you have to do is pretty much take it from the top all the way down copy it go into csgo empire click f12 paste it in here and yeah, I know this, but I said, if you want to make sure this code is legit, just uh, walk me through the end of this video and I will show you. But when you have copied the code in, all you have to do is now uh, to edit this tree starting information. First of all, how much you want to bet. One has the same value as 0 0.1 coin. And I want to start on that because I'm a pussy. And what do you want to bet on? What zero is CT, one is T, and two is dice. And I want to play on dice because I want to be fun. It's a long time, even though it's just been two. And how much want to multiply with? I usually one for my Gale is just two. Uh, and when I play at dice, I usually play it as one point one. So I want to run it on that also. And when those three informations are inserted, all you have to do is click enter. And, uh, yeah, okay, okay, fuck, it couldn't, that was, um, I was saying it couldn't place the best that uh, that was open, but now we'll try. And you see it placed on the die. Uh, when this roll, it will actually stay on one, because uh, it doesn't increase based on what is set up here. An increase based on a variable that is in the code that is increasing uh, so it has a float value that is uh, lower than this and that need to be increased up to two before this one will increase so we need to lose it a couple of times but as the butt goes you can actually watch uh, how your profit goes right here where it prints out a number or something you should be able to say a profit for each step of the way well, I'm thinking while this uh, bot is running in the background, we can do some fun uh, exploring uh, down in the code and check what the fuck does this code do. So, the first one is uh, the starting information that you need to insert yourself. Um, so, that is not that important. And the next one, uh, yeah, let's just deep into it. First of all, we have a lot of variables. All of these variables are used in uh, order to determine what the button have to do. Uh, some of them are only the oh actually all of these are only the buttons uh, and uh, yeah they actually used just in case uh, I want to use them uh, for another script so I can reuse this code. Uh, but all of this script right here is literally just binding the button. I find all the buttons and uh, say if they have the right value, it should be connected to yeah the different button variables are made the next thing that happens in the uh, this script is that we uh, find our betting buttons uh, 
And for those, I hack them in, so I know that these are the ones. Um, all of this be executed in this command when I run this, because all of this is one function. So when bind btns is run, all the buttons are binded. Now comes the fun part. First of all, we find our bank uh, by using this code right here. Uh, this up here was to find something that could declare the, cla uh, the class uh, that stays at the bank, uh, and that was pretty hard, but I, I found something that was able to do it, and I, I found something that was able to just give me the right number every time. Um, and then uh, we actually start our, our yeah, script. Uh, by setting an interval that uh, is jumping around uh, based on which step to perform. So in step zero, we are performing uh, uh, checking up uh, is possible to roll by checking if uh, the rolling is visible. If the l literally, if the word rolling is visible on the side. And on the side, I definitely mean on this right in here, if this rolling is visible. Uh, if it's possible, we just uh, say it's possible a bit and uh, go on to the next step where we are starting to calculate uh, how much to bet. So this is a little bit more long haired, but there's something about reaching a current bang. We figure out our profit so we can post that. Uh, and then we say if we won or win or we lost the last bet. So we can move on based if a uh, our bank was increased, uh, decreased, uh, um, yeah, the same. Or what to say? Um, afterwards, we are cleaning up from the last bet. Then we are placing our new bet, and that's done in a for loop with the smallest integer, uh, the amount of time that the current bet is. Um, afterward, we choose the TCT or the bet based on. Uh, yeah, if you typed 0, 1, or 2 in the top uh, as the TCT value, you can see it down here. It's just pretty simply saying that value you took, that is a button it will uh, enter the bed on. Lastly, is uh, updating the bankroll, and uh, then it's waiting for some. Uh, what the fuck is it waiting? Oh, yeah, it's just updating the bankroll. And then it's actually checking for the spinner, the this white cursor here, if that is visible on the side, uh, and if it's visible, it will uh, move on to the next step. But uh, actually, uh, while we just introduced the script, we could see it actually one one time right here, and we can actually see one with the a two bit. If we just refresh this, go into transaction you can see oh no that was a one bit ah sorry my bad but yeah i hope you see the bet uh, else just for a fast uh, preview of its uh, working ability and best uh, betting on uh, i'm not sure if it's ct or t oh ct to show it how it will double up every time because now it's a 2.1 we have put it in the increaser uh, so, yeah, it will increase a little bit over twice as fast. Let's see. Come on, lose, lose. Actually, it's good to win, but right now I just want to show this so we can close the video. Okay. Here it comes for Papa. The T to close the video off and show you the bud increase by itself. That will be a load ending and a nice way to say try it out if uh, you have anything. If you got any questions, you can always uh, write me in the uh, yeah the comments. And if you look now, it will bet zero point zero two. Bath. Uh, but yeah, I hope you'll try out the script. And then, uh, else if you have any new script idea or anything, please comment them also. I need more ideas, else uh, have a nice day, and uh, see you in the next video and the next giveaway on Twitter. Have a nice day, bye.